Hey everybody, Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick update on my experience with the Sony A7R Mark II. Now for those of you that have followed my original impressions as well as full review, you already know that the A7R II was nearly a perfect camera. One of its few flaws, or quirks if you will, was that it had an issue where it would overheat shooting 4K, or really UHD, not 4K video. And that was something that many users found simply to be unacceptable at its uh, price point here in the US as well as around the world. You can see I've got the uh, 16 to 35 f4 fe lens that is a Zeiss lens uh, mounted on it right now, one of my favorites. Uh, and it is really a great 40 plus megapixel sensor, uh, backlit, great viewfinder. I mean, just incredible feature set in one body, something you will not find from anyone else. But again, that video overheating issue was a major problem for some of you. Uh, and now that we have a brand new firmware version, uh, 3.0, which I will include a link in uh, this, the description of this video, uh, the overheating problem seems to have been resolved. Now, I'm not exactly sure if this came down to Sony optimizing codec issues you know, with the chipset. I'm not sure exactly how they pulled it off, but the bottom line is that if your biggest qualm, if your you know, chief issue with this camera boiled down to the fact that it uh, would end up overheating on the video side of things after a certain amount of time, that is no longer an issue. Uh, the firmware update is a simple process. Some people do get intimidated by it, but it's as simple as downloading a package, an installer, running it while the camera is connected to your computer of choice, and waiting until it finishes the process, which does sometimes take more time than others. Um, but at the end of the day, we have improved performance in just about uh, every way. I'm not saying this update addresses really more than uh, the video uh, overheat issue that is the primary concern that it addresses and it does so uh, incredibly well because at least in the testing that I've done since the update which came out several days ago um, there have been absolutely no overheating issues now I personally in my review mentioned the overheating issues but don't find it to be a uh, prohibiting feature for myself as a user of course for some of you it's the difference maker uh, but now that we have version 3.0 of the firmware and no longer have this issue, you can buy this camera with the confidence that you can shoot several hours of video without having to worry about anything. Uh, any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. And of course, as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.